What up, YouTube? This is um, me again. I didn't mention my name in the first video, which I was being dumb. So the YouTube name is XCBoy5131 or XCBoy513. Previous video I just did as an overview was about that one, and I didn't uh, told you about all three of them in general, all these different ones. We're going to focus on this pair now. Um, so when you first receive it again, they're called SOAR. And you, when you're looking on your your Bluetooth device, they call them, they come up as a sore audio that you're going to want to pair to. When you first get them, these will not pair very well the very first time. So you're going to want to put both of these in their little respective chambers as such. And, uh, close if you want to. And then plug this in by micro USB. That is its battery life. So right now it's about half life. So of course the battery pack is charging these two right now. You can see... Um, actually, what you're looking at is it's trying to pair. The moment you pull them out of the container when it's fully charged, they go in automatic pairing mode like immediately. And what it's trying to pair to is I uh, use an old, my mom, my mom's old 5S as my iTouch. I don't use my phone. When it comes to pairing, you want to use both of them. So what you're looking for is these little white triggers right here and right here. You put, you know, squeeze them at the same time. This one is strange. The right one is strangely much harder to squeeze at first than the other one. When I squeeze, I have to push them in my ear, and I almost feel like I'm losing care. I'm almost having hearing loss because of how 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 hard to squeeze. The left one, no, it's no problem. The tail, which is left and right, you guys should check the little thing. There is no letter. There is no number. There, there's nothing for you to tell which is left and right. But again, you check by. This little nap thing right here. When it comes to fitting, these are my worst pair of earphones to use because, again, I have really, really tiny earlobes and really tiny ears. These things do not fit my ear like, comes, like well at all. When I put them in, it almost fits about the fall in my ears. So again, if I can focus. Or maybe not. There we go. So that. And that. You can also tell the different kinds because I take silicone earbuds off of all kinds of earphones I have because I use all them all the time for different ones. So this is two different pairs, but again, they're almost these are meant to be like um, almost a small size for any pair of silicone earphones, and they literally don't fit my ears at all. It's it barely fits, but it works. So when you put them in your ear, it's very um, it's very hard to tell, but. You can see a little white knob goes inside of my earlobe like that, like the ear follicle, whatever you want to call it, on both of them. And that's all it takes. Now mine again are barely in, but they do stay in. Every once in a while they push them in uh, my ear to make sure they stay in, and that's pretty much it. Sound quality, they're superb. They're really, really good. Again, these were about $20 or $30 pair of Amazon, I'm thinking, because again, I got them for White Elephant, so I have no idea how much they actually were. But sound quality... Amazing. I love them to death. And again, I run. I'm biking now because I can't run right now because I have a leg injury. And I do well. And I do a lot of weightlifting. But I love them to death. They work beautifully. They have really good quality for how small they are. I'm not the absolute best, but they're very good for the R. Um, battery life lasts pretty, pretty well. They're actually not, they're not terrible. When it comes to turning them off, you just have to squeeze the um, both, again, both buttons again at the exact same time for a few seconds and they turn off. Playing and pause are both controlled by the white one and the only, and that's it. Um, now, again, one thing, just thing I would say right away is again, those pair, that pair, this pair, and this pair, the ear, how well it fits in your ears entirely based on you because it's all based on ear, your earlobe size, your ear canals, all that jazz, and what size silicone caps you use because again, mine are really tiny. These are really thin. It's just the nature of how it is. So everyone's going to be totally different. So that one I cannot help you with. Again, to charge them, you just put them right back in here. Now, it will say, in a mail, it will say power on a really weird, like kind of a weird tone. And then it will say connecting and then connected. So you know how it's working. Um, and that'll be it for this one. Now, one thing I will say is, of course, I'm just doing videos based on this pair, that pair, this pair, and that pair. If you guys want any more descriptions or reviews or 
any kind of device or anything you want on anything related to earphones, any type of earphones in general, you at all, let me know. I will easily try to do more. And if you want to leave any comments or anything, or if you like the videos, please hit like. Don't, you don't need to subscribe because I don't know how many of these I'd actually do. I just want to review this as I could. So if you like them, like them. If you want to leave comments, go ahead, please.